Hello YouTube viewers, welcome to my show Computer Wednesday. In today's episode, we're gonna take a look at backup types. So let's dive right into it. First, you have to understand why there is a need for it. Need comes from the three core factor. Factor number one, mistake. Let's say you accidentally deleted an important file. Things happen. You are human or you may have a pet that could, you know, press a button that should not have been pressed. Things like that happen. Or you could have a rat that chew through your computer cable and compromise something that should not have been compromised. So mistakes happen. Then you come to accident part. You have no control over this. Like let's say you have a very good high quality hard drive but a power spike happens and boom. The power chip is tried, your hard drive is gone. And malfunction. Blue screen of death is kind of very common for us. So things happen. No matter how good you are, no matter uh, what level of uh, hardware you have. On, out of these three things, one will happen to you sooner or later, today or tomorrow, it will happen. It's not a question of whether it could happen or not happen. It will happen. Question is when and question more importantly after that becomes, are you ready for it? So under no circumstances live under the delusion that it will not happen to you. It will happen to you. Question is when. Now we come to the context of backup. What types of backup? the core point of the video is that we have what's called active backup this is the backup that uh, all enterprise small industry even if you are working on something very important let's say you are a freelancer working from home this kind of backup is kind of compulsory what you will do is like whole thing whatever you're working on would be cloned to another physical drive or sometime to uh, another physical network attached storage which will be like a mirror so it will be active backup as in as you are working it's cloning everything now of course uh, depending on your system sometimes uh, it could have every time you pressing control s then it's doing the backup and sometimes it could be like you know periodically let's say every 10 minutes is doing a backup yes sometimes uh, high priority files go through this kind of regular backup system then we come to incremental backup this is very common when every industry have this because active backups are kind of very expensive tedious uh, network intensive and everything uh, so incremental backup is kind of a stopgap solution but is quite successful and many of you know about SVN or other things like that, that whenever you save a file and you commit a file, so the committed file gets, uh, you know, gets its own slot and you save that. So all you are storing, like after you created a clone of all your data, only thing that has changed will be backed up. So that way it's a kind of a stop gap. You still have the full data, but uh, every time you are creating a new backup, it's not create, uh, you know, copying everything that is there. It's only copying things that have changed. So it is a kind of very popular in almost all industry. Uh, wherever you have network based storage system, you will come across this where you have incremental backups so basically you commit the save it saves it then we come to differential backups now this is a bit more advanced feature where let's say imagine you are an artist or a, a programmer you wrote a code and you saved it but there is a good chance that uh, you may want to you know uh, write something you saved it and then you're like oh shit I think my older one was better incremental save will have destroyed that and uh, our active backup in this sort of scenario depending on how it was storing the data you may able to go back you may not be able to go back so in those sort of scenario we come to differential backup basically every time you save it creates a clone of that data so it will not touch any file if it's not tampered with if, it, if it's tampered with not only it creates a backup of it like you know okay you save this file i'm going to take a backup of it it also preserves the old file save so basically this will allows you to go to older versions of file this is very crucial for programming asset management or wherever you have things that are kind of uh, finicky so this is kind of very important then we come to data archiving basically tapes i already made a video about tapes and uh, LTO basically loop uh, tape structure is basically nowadays king of enterprise grade data storage I'm talking petabytes to uh, you know petabytes of storage so these kind of system is used to store data data archiving is done in the industry not because like you know um, they need to simply because there are laws that say you must keep the you know sell receipt you must keep watch taxes were there you must like there are a lot of legal things that you must keep in order to make sure that your company is co compliant to the you know uh, law structure basically let's say EU changes a law and then they co uh, call you hey you haven't been paying taxes you can open them uh, old year receipt I'm talking 30 year old receipt 50 year old receipt and see like see at that time when we paid the tax this was the structure and based on this we sent it so this for this reason it's crucial 
and of course many of you know like swing is kind of a new thing nowadays like it's not a new thing but it kind of happening more and more where every somebody is swing apple somebody is swing this and that for those sort of reason you also need to have a you know archived storage where you you can't afford to keep all the data on your servers it's very expensive but on these it's quite cheap then we come to options what kind of options do we have first be mindful of this nothing is perfect no matter which backup system you use no matter what you think nothing is perfect be mindful of this then we come to the aspect that everybody will try to sell you a few things like somebody will try to sell you hey backup on your uh, blu-ray drives awesome somebody will sell you backup on lot tapes somebody will say hey build a bigger network attached to it somebody will say backup it on online each of them have their own places be mindful of that not, not one can uh, one cannot protect you against everything like for instance let's say online everybody's like yeah online cloud storage uh, anybody who says that generally doesn't know the price of online storage if you go into enterprise grade it's idiotically expensive and i'm talking few thousand dollars per month per month not day uh, like not yearly per month and uh, not to mention you also have to consider the fact do you have the network bandwidth even if let's say they can give you the data let's say of course they are also storing it in uh, something like this network attached storage but let's say this can pump out data at 10 gigabytes per second do you have internet connection that can absorb 10 gigabytes per second so for that reason be mindful like uh, backing up uh, everything you have in a cloud system creates a bottleneck which is your internet and what if they go down or what if worst case, this has happened in the past where uh, some small company started to uh, provide online backups and then they went went bankrupt and all their data was lost this sort of thing is not uncommon and suffice to say what if a ddos attack happens not on them but on you so the, what you're going to do at that point so for that reason if somebody says online backup is the king yeah they are not uh, thinking ahead enough like of course it has a place but it's not you know 100% foolproof because the, there is a very severe bottleneck known as internet itself heck for all intents and purposes let's say your uh, country suffers a terrorist attack where there's our undersea fiber cable boom done you're done so for those sort of reason online is useful but not perfect then we come to offline now of course off offline offers the best advantage of most scenarios however what if earthquake happens what if a uh, fire breaks out things of that nature will render this pointless so even if you're all employed backed out uh, you know everything happened you bought a new office you don't no longer have data because of all of your data was here you did so think of it this way everything provides a certain protection but also makes it vulnerable to other things so that's why people want to back up everything everywhere so you don't have any vulnerability then we come to the aspect of this is the final aspect this is what you will care about cost is the key that's why i'm asking like if anybody says like you know back up everything in online just ask them what is the cost of saving uh five terabytes of data which i have right now on my computer now of course not five terabyte of it's worth backing up but let's say i was working in a game design and uh, those data is priceless that data point must be stored five terabyte per month see the cost of that just see the cost of it and not to mention i don't have internet i barely get internet of 8 mbps that's why i'm not doing live telecast so be mindful of this sort of thing there is each of them plays a role and each of them if you get all of your backups done correctly you will have a protection shield where there is no vulnerability now how do you know which data to back up this is also crucial like you may have petabytes of data which is worthy of backup this is a very simple system first is must have it now basically if uh, this sort of scenario requires what's called a mirror server basically all your file is done uh, created saved in a server there is a clone server however the administrative right of that server is blocked so no matter whatever you, uh, you do you cannot delete files from that server so let's say accidentally you deleted a file you committed it that is always there to like okay i got it now then you can go to your it uh, department and be like okay hey uh, i accidentally deleted this file they will uh, create a it ticket or things like that and then you can get your file back so if you have a uh, you know time sensitive as in like people are working on that file as in people you are paying them for this they don't have 24 into 7 into 365 for that they need something active backup some they need some sort of uh, sort of mirror backup system mirror server systems then you come to the second part you have like must have it like you should not lose it like you are working on it and let's say you created a text document it's not necessary that you have it right now but you should not lose it like this is 
project intensive it should not be lost then you can store this in all these options like you can store it in google drive one drive uh, dropbox or things of that nature there it will play a very crucial role because you don't need a lot of bandwidth you don't need a uh, time uh, you know you are not stranded on time then we come to the most crucial aspect this is very common for every one of us especially those who use a photography as a hobby must not lose it's not precious right now it's not something that you want to like just make sure you have it right now it's something that you should not lose no matter what happens i have uh, two photographs uh, two cameras so far and uh, my old camera i tried to back up as much as i can but i have only lost one day and that was when i was uh, you know my whole family was on a family trip so suffice to say we lost kind of important thing and uh, then i realized must not lose is a very important part for those sort of system you can store it on tapes which is uh, if you are uh, you know a studio which are dealing with big data that's the only way if you are a single person working on uh, you know small projects this is the best system i already made a video about uh, tip disk backups and uh, they provide the best so solution for backing up photos not videos but they are pricelessly awesome basically they can take care of your photos for 10 to 35 years so all things considered please prioritize your data not every data needs to be in your mirror server not every data uh, needs to be like you know archived some data ne that needs to be archived does not need to be in your server too so prioritize your data on these three criteria must have it now must have it must not lose so this was my presentation on uh, backup types i hope you liked it or learned from it in that case please leave a like if you didn't dislike it and i would uh, urge you to leave a comment what you want to see in the next episode of computer wednesday and uh, if you have really watched it this far please subscribe don't press the bell icon just subscribe and as always thanks for watching